welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Danielle and I am the owner of Damn Fancy Creations and the Drunk Flamingo Glitter. For those of you that may be new to my channel, I do want to let you know that you can catch my content in two other places. I have a large tutorial group on Facebook as well as a smaller paid membership group that is more personalized. I offer exclusive content free files, group challenges, discount codes, and so much more. If you guys want to check out either one of those groups, I am going to link them in the description below. Today's tutorial is a really fun cup. Um, it's definitely one of those tumblers that I want to keep for myself. I still have not decided if I'm going to sell it or keep it. Um, it's kind of a take on a foil tumbler as well as the tumbler with um, like the precision tip glitter application. I don't know what that technique is called, but I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, and I kind of wanted to combine the two. I have a love for foils lately and obviously glitter is a favorite thing of mine. So I combine the two into this bright glittered foil tumbler that I absolutely love. This snakeskin foil that I'm using is probably my favorite foil I have used. Um, I get it in a multi-pack on Amazon and I hate that it only comes in a two inch strip because I would buy it in like a five foot roll if I could. So in this tutorial I am going to kind of walk you through what um, adhesive I think is best for foils how I apply the glitter and any other kind of troubleshooting things that I run across I always pass along to you guys. So if y'all are ready to see how I created this fun, bright snake foil tumbler, let's get started. <laughs> Alright y'all, as usual, we are going to be starting with a prepped tumbler painted white. These are the foils I'm going to be using today. This was a pack I got off Amazon that I will link in the description. And of course, tack it. And I have two precision bottles filled with Mod Podge. One has a precision tip and one I removed the precision tip. So I'm just going to start by squeezing some of this tacket into a little medicine cup. Clearly I need to order some more tacket soon. I don't have much left. I do get this on Amazon. And I'm going to use a relatively soft brush to apply this tacket because I do want full coverage for my foils. If I wanted more of a distressed look, I would use more of a dry brush. And I do still want kind of that brush stroke effect. So you guys can see that I am just dragging the tacket from my starting point out a little bit. And I am just randomly applying these brush strokes kind of all around my tumbler. Some of them I'm making longer, some are shorter. You just want a good variety going around the tumbler. And these little shorties from Puzzle Tumblers are the cutest tumblers ever. If y'all have not tried them, I definitely suggest it. I love them for my coffee. Or cocktails. And you guys can see I'm kind of smoothing out any, you know, thicker tacket parts. Um, sometimes they don't dry as well and it can just be kind of a gooey blob on your tumbler and we definitely don't want that. So 
So once I'm done, I am going to put the excess tacket back into the bottle. And then I'm going to clean my brush. I typically keep a bottled water up in my office so I can clean brushes because nine times out of ten I will not go downstairs and wash them. So this has saved many brushes. I will just leave my brush sitting in the water until I go downstairs and can clean it properly. And this is the foil I'm going to use today. Um, I was debating on a couple different colors. This one also has leopard print that I thought was really pretty. Um, this rose gold is snake print, but it's very subtle. You guys can see it really good right here in the light, the difference between the darker and the brighter copper. And I also thought this went really well with the glitter colors that I was going to be using. So I'm going to take my heat gun right now and we're just going to dry that tacket. I have it on like a medium heat setting. I don't want it too hot and cause the paint or the tacket to kind of bubble up, but I also don't want it cold. I did get this heat gun on Amazon as well. Um, I got it a few years ago, probably like four or five years ago, honestly, but I just suggest looking for one with a heat setting on it that you can adjust. And it really doesn't take long to dry the tacket with the heat gun. You can just let it sit for 30, 45 minutes, but I prefer just to get it dry and get my cup finished. And if this was on a colored cup, you would be able to tell really easily if it was dry because the tacket is white when it is applied and then it dries a glossy clear. So it should be pretty dry by now. I guess I just wanted to make extra sure that the tacket was dry. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut my foils into strips. I so wish that this film came in like a huge roll because I would buy so much of it. It is probably one of my favorite foils that I have used, but I can't find it anywhere other than this one little pack. But if anybody knows where I can find fun snake print foil like this in large quantities, please let me know in the comments. I already used the rainbow snake print on another cup, so I don't have a lot of it left, but I did have enough for this tumbler. And 
so basically we are going to take a strip of the foil and we're just going to apply it onto the tumbler where that tacket was brushed on. And you can use something to burnish it in if you want to. Um, I personally like using my scraper. Some people use a special brush for it. Um, it's really just preference. I think that this works perfect for me. And I just kind of use my finger just to make sure that the foil is completely flat. And then you just peel off the top film. And you can always use the excess that you have left over. And stick it down and repress it. And you guys can see, sorry, I'm a little out of frame here, but I'm just using just the little leftover pieces that I had just to get the very bottom um, or technically the top of the cup. I'm basically just like pressing it all around. So I'm just going to save this little piece and then we're going to apply our second foil and we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to burnish it in with our little scraper. And then we're going to peel it off. And this one was a little bit more distressed, which I was fine with because I was going to, we're gonna go back with glitter anyway. And I'm just using this brush just to really kind of make sure that no loose pieces are anywhere, making sure that that foil is really on there, distressing some pieces if I wanted them a little distressed. And again, we're just using this leftover foil just to press around the edges and I didn't realize how out of frame I was, so sorry. And we are basically just going to do the same thing all the way around the tumbler. I was really trying to turn it just to make sure I knew where the tacket was. It's so hard to see from a distance if it's on a white cup. So I did have to bring it pretty close to my face a couple times, which I think is why I ended up out of frame a lot when I was filming this. And again, I'm just kind of feeling around the areas just to see if there was any tacket that was not covered with the foil. And if there was, I would just stick it with the leftover little piece that I had.
And once you have all your foils on, just again, go kind of make sure that all of that tacking is covered because we don't want to start applying our glitter and then glitter get caught up in tack it that was not covered and then your colors are mixed and all that stuff. But this is what mine looks like before the glitter. And you know, I'll tell y'all right now, it does not look the best with just the foils. Um, this is why I always like to say, trust the process, just keep going if you're unsure of something. Um, it was just like my desk that y'all see right here. After I applied the first foil, I almost scrapped this desk and said, nope, this is not going to look good. But I kept going and it turned it out really good. And the same for most of the tumblers we do. Sometimes the halfway point in our tumblers don't look how we want them to. But if you keep going, most of the time, they're going to turn out better than you expected. So I'm just putting back my little foil pieces so I can use them next time. And then we're going to apply our glitter. So I'm just going to use a plain white sheet of paper to catch my glitter. And we're going to be using four colors from the Drunk Flamingo glitter. I was trying to decide what was the other color I wanted to use. I actually made this cup for a challenge in my glitter group so if you guys are not in the drunk flamingo glitter group definitely check that out so today we're going to be using prickly pear margarita tequila sunrise the irish buck cocktail and sparkling sage And I'm going to apply one color at a time. And these precision tip bottles you can get off of Amazon. And we're basically just going to start drawing zigzag lines on the tumbler and there's no need to go fast when you do this if you want to go fast you can if not i really just like to go at my own pace just so i have more control over where the lines are going to be and we're just going to kind of outline the edges of our foil And I'm just going to pick a few spots on the tumbler to outline. You don't want to outline every foil edge with your first color because we have several colors to go and you don't want it to be super crowded or, you know, just over glittered. If that's possible for something to be over glittered. And we're just going to sprinkle on our glitter. And I'm just kind of banging off the cup as we go. And then move on to the next foil.
So we're just going to bang this off really good. Then we're going to put up our glitter. And then I'm going to very lightly brush off some of this glitter. Obviously, we just applied it, so if you brush too hard, then all of that Mod Podge and glitter is going to get smeared everywhere. But I just kind of like to brush off around the glitter, just so this glitter isn't going to get caught up in the next Mod Podge lines that we make, if that makes sense. <laughs> And the next glitter color we're going to use is Sparkling Sage. It's a really pretty kind of light, light gold, gold champagne. And we are basically going to do the exact same thing we did with the first glitter color. We're just going to go outline these foils And I am bringing some of these lines down in to the foil just to kind of break it up a little bit. And then I added a few lines next to the first glitter color we used. Birdie is after something, guys. <laughs> so this particular section, I just brought that glitter from the pink glitter over to the foil next to it. And Birdie was after a hawk, so luckily I think she's big enough to not be carried away right now. So again, we're just going around the tumbler and adding some glitter lines. And I would always start with, you know, one, one or two lines um, on each side of the tumbler of each color. And if you want to go back and add more of a certain color, you can definitely do that later. But it's a lot easier to add more than take it off. So I just always suggest starting with a little bit and then adding more if you feel like it needs it. And don't forget to outline the bottom foils. I did forget to do this with the first color. Um, it's kind of hard to do it on camera, so I did have to move it close to me to glitter the bottom or outline the bottom. So that's what it looks like kind of outlined And once we're done with the second color, we're going to put that up. 
And we're going to do the same thing and take that super soft makeup brush and just brush off all of that excess glitter that is on our tumbler. And we're going to use the Irish Butt Cocktail next. I love this green, it's so pretty. So here's what it looks like so far. I was running out of spaces on my tumbler to like knock off all the glitter. <laughs> So this is how it was turning out. I love how it looks. And once we get this color put up and our tumbler brushed off again, it will be time to apply our very last color, which is Tequila Sunrise. It is a Drunk Flamingo favorite. It is one of my OG colors that I've had and customers love it. So here is what it looks like when those colors are all brushed off really well. And now for Tequila Sunrise. It's a really pretty kind of corally orange. And now we are basically just going to outline the remaining spots around the foils. And I do kind of bring my Mod Podge lines out a little bit.
And we're going to add a little bit of this color to the bottom as well. And once you apply all your colors, you can definitely kind of turn the cup around and see how you like the colors or if you need to add some more. I really like the negative white space on the tumbler, so I didn't want to fill the space too much with different glitter colors. But I really like how it turned out. So right now I'm just kind of checking everything out, seeing if I need to add glitter anywhere. Um, I think I decided to add a little bit more to the bottom. It was a little plain. But this is basically it for this tutorial. It was pretty quick. Um, I was expecting a cup like this to take a little bit longer. But, you know, once I started going, it was pretty easy for me to finish. And once the Mod Podge dried, I brushed it off really, really well. And then I sealed it with Rust-Oleum two times really good. And I applied two layers of epoxy sanded it if I needed to, sanded the rims of course, and then applied my final layer of epoxy. Um, if you wanted to add a decal, you would do that after the second, la second layer of epoxy and then put another two layers on top of that decal. And that is pretty much it, you guys. I thought this cup was a perfect bright summery spring tumbler and this snake print foil is amazing if y'all have not tried it yet. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And here are some finished pictures of the cup. I really do just love how it turned out. Um, I had not seen anything like this before and I thought it was super fun and bright. If you guys decide to try a cup like this, please post in the group so I can see. If y'all enjoyed this tutorial or learned something new, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to catch the next video coming up that was picked just for you. As always, if you're looking for more tips, tricks, or tutorials, be sure to check out my tutorial group on Facebook or our Damn Fancy Tribe. Both are linked in the description. Thank